It's Get Real, the video blog for all your classic movie needs. Something to please all tastes and age groups. Holy mackerel. Only on the YouTube channel Classic Flicks Mix Picks. Where Edna May Oliver. <laughs> Wyatt! Ladies and gentlemen, I think something is happening. That's right, and it's called Get Real for December 16th, 2022. Seems like just 109 years ago that a young British music hall performer signed his first movie contract. On December 16th, 1913, Charlie Chaplin signed with Keystone Pictures. Movie comedy would soon rise above the level of film vaudeville and emerge as a truly cinematic art form. Hey kids, what time is it? It's time to talk Turner. Classic movies. A lot of you have probably already seen The Man Who Came to Dinner. To you I say, watch it again, it's really worth it. The Man Who Came to Dinner of 1942 is the very funny film adaptation of the very funny Kaufman and Hart play of 1939. While on a lecture tour in the Midwest, renowned radio personality Sheridan Whiteside, the aptly named Monty Woolley, slips and falls on the front steps of his host family's house. Word goes out that Whiteside is confined to a wheelchair and the center of his universe becomes Massalia, Ohio. And in short order, their casa becomes his casa. I shall require the exclusive use of this room as well as that drafty sewer which you call the library. The character Sheridan Whiteside was inspired by the king of the Algonquin round table, writer, critic, radio personality Alexander Wolcott, renowned for his acerbic and frequently merciless wit. That's the play's co-author, George S. Kaufman, sitting next to him. Whiteside is like a more blustery Waldo Lidecker. He verbally abuses most of the people around him. His hosts, the Stanleys, the ditzy doctor and would-be author, his long-suffering nurse. The one countervailing force is his personal secretary, Maggie Cutler, Betty Davis in one of her most appealing performances. She matches his wit, if not his bluster. Don't you pull any of your tricks on me, because I'm onto every one of them. So lay off. That's my message to you. Big Lord Fauntleroy. Maggie makes the Sheridan Whiteside Express run on time. She manages his schedule, fields his phone calls from Winston Churchill and Eleanor Roosevelt, handles his Christmas gifts from Deanna Durbin and Somerset Mom. In short, she's indispensable, but when she falls for a local newspaper man, she suddenly wants to be dispensed. She wants to get married and go domestic. This does not coincide with Whiteside's plans. He's the quintessential narcissist and just can't tolerate the disruption to his life. He plots to derail her newfound love. The drama is played out against the backdrop of a parade of characters coming and going, many of them based on well-known personalities of the day. Jimmy Durante's banjo is Harpo Marx. Anne Sheridan's Lorraine Sheldon is actress Gertrude Lawrence. Reginald Gardner's Beverly Carlton is Noel Coward. The rest of the supporting cast is great. Mary Wicks in her first screen appearance is hilarious as Whiteside's embattled nurse. She's his first line of offense. You have the touch of a love-starved cobra. And makes quite a hit with Banjo. Come to my room in a half hour and drink some rye bread. I give director William Kiley and screenwriters Julius and Philip Epstein credit for not trying to open up the stage play for the screen. The original play is so good and the cast is so spot on that they really just needed to get out of the way. See how it all turns out Thursday night at 10.15. Now we've got a problem. You're not in jail, are you? No, Adolf. I'm just trying to figure out how to get people to subscribe. Tell them about the offers. Oh yeah, the offers. That's right, Fred. Viewers, subscribe now and you'll be entered to win a free weekend for two on the newest theme hotel, the Hilton Enterprise. Dine at the Captain's Table Restaurant. Relax at Sulu's Retreat, the Zero Gravity Pleasure Dome. Runners up receive the box set of the worst horror movie trailers ever. You'll see losers like Attack of the Giant Leeches, The Killer Shrews, The Screaming Skull. <laughs> Hold on, Fred, I can't do this. There are no giveaways. We're probably going to get sued over this. Look, it's simple. We really need subscribers for our position on YouTube. And what you will get is notification of every new drop. 
because Classic Flicks Makes Picks is about more than just get real. Yeah, that's it. More. That's right, I want more. You'll know as soon as we add new material to the permanent collection, including classic black entertainers, the Hall of Oddities, classic cartoons, Snafu. private snafu. Situation normal. All, all fouled up. Film noir off the charts. So please, hit that little red button. You're watching Get Real for December 16th, 2022. Only on the YouTube channel Classic Flix Mix Picks. Brought to you by... Great Nuts Breakfast Time! Good! <laughs> Crunchy little nuggets bursting with nut sweet flavor. Well, first we gotta exercise them. Do we have to? Now, that's our agreement. We gotta keep slim and trim. It helps to eat the right kind of foods like a post Great Nuts Breakfast. <laughs> You get more out of life when you go out to a movie. It's the classic Hollywood story. George finds Mary. George loses Mary. George gets Mary. Yeah, it's that time again. TCM and Fathom Events are putting the Baileys on the big screen nationwide. Check your local listings. Zuzu's pedals. Zuzu. There they are! Zuzu's pedals await. Merry Christmas! Well, Merry Christmas! Feel free to rant on Facebook, by email, or right on the website. We're back next Friday with a new Get Real, only on the YouTube channel Classic Flicks Mix Picks.